Hello YouTube, here is a quick review on the TDS meter, uh, TDS meter from H&M Digital. And I'm um, pretty much getting ready with this TDS meter to start testing uh, water chemistry, specifically uh, for a reef tank, I will be starting a nano project. Uh, I was in the reef tank, or used to have a reef tank uh, about a decade ago, and uh, I think now it's time with all the advances of technology to kind of start one up again. So in order to prepare myself correctly, I'm making sure to ensure a good water chemistry, especially as it's essential in any type of um, low body or, or volume of water. And so I picked this TDS meter up from Amazon. Uh, this is what you'll want to use to ensure, specifically if you're testing RO water, which is recommended, and highly recommended RODI water for your reef tank. And this TDS meter can be picked up on Amazon Prime for less than $20. Um, and basically, you may ask, what is TDS? Well, uh, the packaging is great. It gives you a real overview of uh, TDS, is total dissolved solids that are found in water, different minerals, and, and things that can be harmful, uh, especially for fish. You see how it says uh, that TDS affects everything that consumes, lives, in, or uses water from fish and plants to plumbing and laboratories. And definitely the objective uh, when you're testing water is to ensure that the TDS reading is as close to zero, if not at zero, as possible. And so in this quick little test, I was uh, very eager, um, like a tech junkie, to go ahead and test out this TDS meter. So in front of me, I grabbed four samples of water. Um, the one on the far left is the actual tap water from my municipality. Um, then second to that, I have Poland spring water, which I had a bottle laying around, and also we had some Trader Joe's natural mountain spring water, and then last but not least, we have baby water, um, which is uh, purified water with fluoride for our wonderful son. We give him that. Um, so to start the test right away, the nice thing about this TDS meter is uh, it has an on-off button, and it has also a cap, which I have removed. You can definitely see there's a couple sensors here. Uh, the instructions recommend you do not touch those sensors, but to ensure that you always wipe down your TS meter after use before putting the cap on. And uh, it's been already factory calibrated, so that's a wonderful neat thing. One of the cool things um, about this is it's pretty simple to use. You have your on off button, and then when you're testing the water, you're able to click on this hold button which will ensure to hold that reading and then that way you can um, review it and ensure that your uh, TDS uh, parameters are in check. So let's go off to uh, testing this. So here is my municipal water. I go ahead and uh, put the meter in. You want to make sure to insert it at a decent amount. And you hold it in there for at least uh, like a 10 seconds or so. For the Tesla's purpose, uh, I'm fumbling a little bit because I'm using one hand, but trying here to uh, hold, press on the hold button as well so I can show you the reading. So I press the hold button. And it did not work. Hold on one second. We go ahead and put it in again for a couple seconds. Okay, and then when you actually get it, uh, on the hold button, you'll see that the um, display will start flashing. That's how you know it's worked correctly. So this is my municipal water. And as you can notice, what is expected, I have a reading of 163 parts per million or PPM on my TDS. So definitely some uh, organics or, or solids in there that you want to make sure to filter out. Um, in this nano project, I'm going to first start off, uh, since I'm only going to be uh, having a, a tank that has the capacity of 13 and a half gallons, I'm looking to use um, or test the water from my local fish store and then eventually proceed to buy an RO filter. But there you go, that's my reading 163 parts per million. So then we go ahead and we clear the, the hold, brings us back to zero, as you can notice there. Now, what we're going to do is going to test the Poland spring water and let's see what readings we get from there. Go ahead, hold that in there. Hold it for a couple seconds. Make sure that the meter calibrates itself, or not calibrates, but more importantly, it gets a good reading. It's not fluctuating. All right, so here we go. 
So we saw from 163 from my municipal water, we're getting closer to the zero mark. That's great. It's uh, 20 parts per million for Poland Spring. So not a bad, it's a decent, you know, water, at least for human consumption. So that's 20 parts per million. Now let's go ahead and we're back to zero. Let's try now the Trader Joe's Natural Mountain Spring Water. I think this stuff is pretty good. Let's see if how it compares to the Poland Spring Water. So again, leave it in there a couple good seconds until it stops fluctuating. And we hold that in there. Nope, let's go back again. Uh, wait a couple seconds. Okay, we got the reading. So here we go from... So here we go, from 163 from my municipal water to Poland Spring, those are definitely, you can see it's 105 parts per million. So this water, although relatively inexpensive, uh, you can see the quality is not as great as Poland Spring. So between Trader Joe's water, definitely stick with Poland Spring. All right, well, last but not least, we're gonna clear this out again. And we're gonna try the baby water. That's what we use to give our son, mix it with juices. And we've used it a long time, for, even for um, mixing uh, powdered milk or formula. So here we go ahead and and what do we have? Sixteen parts per million. So definitely amongst the municipal water, which was at the highest. Second to that was the Trader Joe's. Third to that was the Poland Spring. And the winner here in water quality is the baby water at 16 parts per million. So with this uh, TDS meter, you see how easy it is for one to test um, and be able to ensure that you're getting the right, you know, good quality. In the case of uh, having already an RO filter, you want to make sure that you get as close to zero as possible. The higher the parts per million, it's an indicator that you have to change your filter. So it's great, uh, you know, easy. Uh, meter to have around and definitely if you're in the reef tank or planning to get on the reef tank It's a wise investment uh, to have amongst your different test kits and this way ensure that you get the water quality that you want Especially if you're going to be buying water ensure that you're also getting good quality for for the money And uh, I think I'm very pleased with this little TDS meter. I'm looking forward to any comments So make sure if you have any other questions you can comment on this video and I'll try to do my best to give you the correct answer and uh, I hope it's been useful. If you want, I'll also um, I'll post on this video link the um, link to Amazon where you can get it with Amazon Prime. And uh, here you go. This is the cap. See how wonderful it is as a pen. You can put it in your pocket. It's snug. And that is a review on the TDS uh, meter by H&M Digital. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe.